Oh, okay, but uh, well, when is this? May twenty fifth, Saturday. May twenty fifth. Yeah. May twenty five. Okay, well, that's I mean that's a little ways out. I I'm. Yeah. I'm think about it. I'm think yeah I I'm I'm thinking we could do that. So last I year, mean. Last year we paid twenty to Shane. Even after a big contract they gave to Dave the Trout, <laughs> it's going to be four dollars cheaper. Oh, nice. Well, that's cool. You're yeah. That Trout contract, didn't you? What? Uh, that uh, trout, the contract he got. No, I didn't. What he was got that? A ten, ten year, three hundred and sixty million dollar extension for the next twelve years. Let me put all twelve years together. Four hundred twenty six point five million dollars. All right. Highest paid athlete in America. Okay. Well, there you go. But you know what's funny? What's Everybody funny? says he's worth it. Okay. He's supposed to be the best best person and uh, best player in, in in baseball and and one thing that he is he's he's gives back so much. I mean, before before games he's signing autographs. After games he's signing autographs. Uh, he goes and, and well, yeah, uh, if you're making a grip of money, you should at least sign some autographs. <laughs> a lot of, but a lot of them don't. <laughs> yeah, well, I nothing. guess that's giving back a lot, you know. No, you I'm should. just saying, but he is, I mean, does that just, he's, he, he does spend time with the people. That's just autographs. When a, you know, when a kid wants an autograph, he, that's nice to get. Yeah. And, and... And things like that. I mean, to spend, then he, but he spends time in the community too. He he does uh, oh, special I'm appearances, sorry. and and I don't know what he does, but he, I know he does quite a bit. Right, gives back to the community and whatever. Yeah, yeah. He's he's he, he's not just taking the money and 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 running. He he, he doesn't run quite as fast. <laughs> <laughs> He trots through instead of running through. Oh, or he does—he doesn't flap like a trout. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> only in, in name only. <laughs> okay, I, I just thought he'd maybe flap and flop around or something. Yeah, I knew what you. So anyway. hold on, Dad. You just told me. That you're you just went to the doctor how many times this last week? Oh, this week only twice. And then next week. I mean, I mean this week too. This week. And two, then four times next week. Four times next week. Yeah. And they're all different doctors. I uh, unless you count. Uh, yeah, yeah, they are. Wow. So, of course, then, uh, then it, it all depends on, uh, well, yeah, I guess there are all different doctors, even if I have to go and, uh, once I have to go see a guy by the name of Anoop Maharaji. Anoop Maharaji? Something like that. He's my, he's my, one of my pulmonologists. He's going to have to go see to see the, if I can... A pulmonologist has to do with your breathing, then. Right. Okay. And he's going to have to, he's going to tell me, I guess, if I can have the uh, people have stand anesthesia. It'll be put out type anesthesia. Okay, so he then also has studied it up in, in drugs and like how they interact well, they with do. the body. and Well... <laughs> No, they anything. don't. Come on, they're not. He he yeah. Give. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. He doesn't give any. Okay. So, what exactly is the pulmonary guy? He has me on. He has me on oxygen. My right lung isn't working properly. Okay. So, then, 
how is he going to determine what what uh if I can anesth- 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 or whatever you call it, whatever the how how is he going to determine whether or not you can withstand anesthesia or not? Well, this is what I don't understand. They kind of put, well, they they put you out, and they, you know, I mean. Well, I understand I, that, but what I if I can if I'm able to if if I'm if I'm under and they and I can't be revived. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, how does this guy? How is he determining whether or not you you're going to be able to handle whatever other drugs? That's what I'm wondering because you just told know. me he doesn't give drugs. So he doesn't give me any. <laughs> he doesn't. Well, so then. I don't know if he him. He may give drugs to somebody. This is just. I'm just wondering. I'm. I think this is a legitimate question. You're telling me that this guy is going to determine whether or not. You can be, like, knocked out, yeah, anesthetized, or however you say that, with with drugs, but he doesn't administer drugs? He doesn't. I, I, I understand what you're trying to get at. That's not his purpose. <laughs> well, I don't understand. What is, there I, it is. I don't understand what the purpose is. I don't even know what am I trying to get at. I, what I'm trying to get at is like, I'm trying to understand what his purpose is. That's what I'm trying to understand. What is his purpose? He's concerned about how much air I can take in. Oh. How my breathing is. Okay, and so... And there are times when... Just like, you know, when I have the, it had the uh, blood, um, what do you call it? It had a thing on there to check your blood pressure. The low number, the number that's normally the second number. Right. My second number is high. And I asked, well, what does that mean, that the number is high? And it has to do with how hard your, your heart is beating to keep you going, to keep you alive. It, when you're, it, when it's supposed to be in rest, so the, how, it's, um, how, how hard it's working it's, to stay at rest. It's the rest pulse. Is that what you're saying? It's the... Yeah, that's what, we were, that's what I was told today. Uh, okay, so you're saying that your heart is working hard at in the rest position. Like, everything is always tight, basically. I guess. Well, if you let me sit it, long it, enough, like that, you know, I go into the office and you sit down and you start doing, you know, checking your your blood pressure and they check your, you know, whatever they check everything, your mm-hmm. your pulse and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. When I first go in there and they check my blood pressure, it's high. I said, well, just wait a little, you know, wait five minutes or so and it should be lower. I get it lower. Well, I shouldn't have to wait that five minutes. You should be able to go in and it should be, you know, if I'm not, if I'm not walking or something like that, am I now sitting in my rest position? My heart should be going down faster than what it is. As opposed to you having to think about it to get it to do that. I guess so, yeah. Hmm. Well, but, I mean, so they're saying that it should take you longer to cool down after physical activity than what it's what it takes Be- uh, yes. because your 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 physical activity is moving <laughs> basically right like when you yeah pretty much um once i get out of bed i'm it, i start moving that's physical activity to me yes yeah so well, i'm trying to improve that well but right but if you're when you go, when you get up and you do whatever and you go over to, let's say, the doctor and he takes your blood, or the nurse or whoever, and takes your blood pressure and then you wait five minutes and it's lower. Kind of take it again, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, that kind of makes sense because you just exerted yourself. So 
I mean, what are